I'm Glenn Worthington, and I'm in the East Drainage Ditch here at Southwest Arkansas's Crater Diamond State Park. And what I like about the East Drainage Ditch, for one thing, I found this diamond right over here just a few feet away. It's a 62 point, in other words, almost two thirds of a carat white. It's fairly flat and it's naturally heart shaped. So I just had a jeweler put three prongs around it to hold it in that ring for me. I found that in 2008 and I just wear it all the time. I don't care if I'm out here in the mud or whatever, but I enjoy wearing it. Glad I found it. I found almost 200 diamonds out here so far. Most of them in the east drainage area, all in around here. Um, what I like about it, several acres of the diamond bearing soil funnels right through this ditch and then this morning I was walking around and I saw somebody one me last week or sometime set a trap here they took a bunch of rocks and built a natural dam across here so when the rocks and silt come washing down like they did during that four inch rain we just had they come washing down here they lose velocity when they go over these rocks and uh, the heavies like diamonds will drop and settle there where the water can't wash them they kind of like hide behind these rocks so you want to go downstream of your dam whether a natural dam or an artificial that somebody has made for you the other thing the way these rocks are stacked in here since it's not a solid dam a rock could come over and drop right down there in a pocket where it lost the velocity of the water can't push it anymore. It fell into a trap. So <clears throat> even though somebody else built this trap, it's a public park. And if they didn't get out here first, then the early bird gets the worm, I guess. And uh, I'm the early bird. And I hope to find a big diamond. So I'm just getting some of the big rocks out. What I plan to do, scoop this up, put it in a bucket and then I can go wash it and then I'll just put the rocks back in the dam. It's supposed to rain again Saturday. Maybe if I don't come out next week after the rain, somebody else will come out and take advantage of the trap that I set like I'm taking advantage of a trap somebody else set for me. So I'm just going to scoot down here. A lot of that is silt, but then I've got some gravel in it too. So it's crunchy so you listen to your shovel and that crunch means gravel and that means there could be a diamond in it so i'm just going to put all that in my bucket and sort through it later with the screens and what's heavy and what isn't you know we'll separate the diamond from the light material so anyway just to clean all this trap out just downstream from the dam and then built the dam back for the next guy. And uh, it's just exploring, trying to figure out where the diamonds would sit and why, kind of follow the natural rules of how, how things wash and settle. And the diamonds wash right down the hill to this, center up on this ditch, and then get trapped by this uh, this dam of rocks and you can scoop them up and take them home. Thank you for joining me for this adventure.